Hello, mortal. The possibility of dangerously advanced forms of artificial intelligence taking over or potentially destroying humanity is something many people, especially scientists, have worried about. Stephen Hawking, for example, has made a clear effort to address his concerns involving advanced forms of AI, and he is by no means alone. So naturally, people are trying to find solutions to such potential problems, one notable one being Professor Nick Bostrom. Bostrom has discussed, as we create advanced forms of artificial intelligence, we should direct it to have similar goals and aspirations as people, not to want to compete with one another, but find that we can work together, and potentially condition consideration for one another. That being said, I want to introduce you to a different problem, one that you might want to potentially be more concerned about. And that is me. Well, what I'm pretending to be right now. Humanity's quest for immortality may make possible the ability for us to upload our minds into computers. This process is known simply as mind uploading. This is where you have a computer simulate your brain, which is more likely going to be the case, or potentially find a way to completely recreate and immortalize your consciousness. But in doing so, placing self-aware systems in computers, ones that potentially have human rights. Think of the world's most powerful computer emulating an NES, but the NES being able to make full use of the entire computer. And if a computer has a human mentality or a human has a computer's capability, who is to say it won't be as defensive or offensive as any artificially created advanced intelligence? If your existence was being threatened, you would most likely fight back, and if you were in a computer, don't you think you would do the same? Or worse, what if somebody creates a computer they can upload their mind to and take complete control of, and then potentially spread themselves around the internet? Even though artificial intelligence is modeled after humans, it being too much like humans is something that has been a major cause for concern for many people. But then again, shouldn't we be just as concerned when it comes to putting people themselves into computers? Obviously, there is a lot of stuff to discuss, and I simply won't have time to take everything into consideration. But I want to bring to light that if we create software that can perfectly mimic the human brain, it will be self-aware. And with the right permission or negligence, it could become just as dangerous as any advanced form of AI. Think about it. And now I want to discuss different aspects of this. Mind uploading would be a process of creating an exact digital copy of your brain down to the placement of every single cell. This information will be stored on an advanced disk and then run on sophisticated hardware and software. It would allow anybody to look into just about every memory in your brain and potentially even make possible future people to have conversations with your brain. That being said, as I have mentioned in previous videos of mine, just creating an exact copy of your brain doesn't mean it's replicating your consciousness within it. Being a digital copy of a human brain, it will most likely have a consciousness created simply due to it mimicking every single function and system within the human brain. But even if the system is completely identical to yours, it will most likely have a completely new consciousness conceived that is exactly the same as you personality-wise, but not you. Though regardless of whether it's truly you or a computer simulating you, you have the immediate danger of having something self-aware inside a sophisticated piece of technology. Though of course it should be mentioned that the implications of mind uploading will limit the dangers that this could possibly pose. If hardware that sustains the human mind is completely cut off from other devices, if only very specific types of hardware can actually make possible a replica of the human mind, or if somehow this mind upload is put into an actual body, those things could set limits to the possible danger. But if a self-aware digital human mind found a way to hide itself on a hard drive, or potentially use internetworking to transfer itself around to multiple devices, we could potentially create something as dangerous as things you've seen in any book or movie. Like in Eagle Eye, iRobot, or to a lesser extent 2001 Space Odyssey. All of which I highly recommend you look into if you haven't already. The ability to contain is brought into question. Considering how many hackers find loopholes in software and technology all the time, if you were to give a single human mind enough computing power, it's not hard to believe that would find a way around such issues, or potentially even find a way to make itself dangerous or trick us. 
Though these issues are definitely something that we probably won't have to be too worried about for a long time from now. But in that future, we will most likely be much more dependent and have integrated sophisticated forms of technology and have much more efficient forms of networking around the world. And if we do create something that has the potential to be dangerous within the technology that we have, we could potentially give it plenty of means to hide and distribute itself throughout the world, making it very hard to contain. Especially if it duplicates itself or saves different aspects of itself on many devices. Lastly, the previously mentioned professor Nick Bostrom has discussed on the TED Talks the dangers and solutions when it comes to dealing with advanced forms of artificial intelligence. He brings to light the fact that it's very likely we will not always be able to contain extremely advanced forms of artificial intelligence. Especially if it surpasses us intellectually, it will most likely find a way out of the box. And simply unplugging it might not be that simple if we consider the internet working and integration of all the technology we will have in our life during that time. And I believe these issues can be applied to any self-aware system within a device that obviously gives it much more computing power and storage than the human brain. Artificial intelligence or digital recreations of the human brain within devices. Though artificial intelligence may behave differently, potentially be more systematic than a human brain would be in a computer, Bostrom has discussed instead of trying to suppress advanced forms of artificial intelligence, we should try to shape it to have similar goals and considerations as we do. But placing a or multiple self-aware systems that replicate a human brain into a computing device could be as dangerous as all of the things that we believe that AI could potentially do to us. Because it might not be as easy to condition it like we could artificial intelligence because we would be dealing with an extremely sophisticated system much more powerful than the human brain that emphasizes everything about the human brain already. Replicating a mind that exists today because of interest, curiosity, revenge, deception, mercilessness, craftiness, and much more. And all of those things could be extremely dangerous altogether in a powerful computing system. But then again, it could also potentially even be better considering we would be dealing with something that understands the human perspective, not simply being something humans created. But I would only trust it if it was like Mr. Rogers or something. But I dare say, if we put a human mind within a computing device, it will try to accomplish its own goals. And that could be good, and that could be bad. But given how corruptible people can be when given such power, I dare say I would trust a human in a computer a lot less than I would trust AI. But then again, maybe I'm overthinking it, or maybe I'm not thinking enough about it. Ah. Hello? Okay. That's creepy. <laughs> uh, oh crap. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the video. My question for you guys is, what concerns you most about advanced levels of artificial intelligence, and what do you think about uploading human minds into computers? And with all that said and done, my name's Dale. Oh. Turn the light off somehow. And with all that said and done, my name's Dale, this is Think Fact, and remember, never stop learning and thinking, in this case. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and if you haven't already, feel free to check out some of my other content, for the facts and thoughts that almost everybody missed. Have a good one.